Hi everyone, Andy here, and in this video, I'm gonna show you my entire sales process from lead to deal closed. I'm a software consultant, so the process is really simple, but I'm sure you will be able to get some ideas from it so you can create or modify your own sales process. I will also briefly show you a second sales process of a construction company I work for that will give you another perspective on how a sales process works. All right, let's get started. Before we go over the sales process, I want to briefly mention how I generate leads. A lot of my leads come from YouTube and Google ads, which bring them to my website. Then they complete the form and the lead is added to the CRM automatically. Some people email me directly and I create a lead manually if that happens. I also use Zoho Sales IQ to track different aspects of the lead, like where it is located, what pages on my website were visited and more. Depending on your company size and industry, you will include the lead generation in your sales process, or maybe you will have a separated lead generation process and you will use applications to track lead generation. And after that, you can add them to the CRM and assign them to your sales rep, which will start your actual sales process. All right, now let's start with the sales process. I made this graph that shows the entire sales process and I will go over each section one by one. The first step is lead qualification. After I get the information, I schedule a discovery call where we will go over several questions and review how we're gonna going to work, the budget, the time frame, and generally speaking, if we're a good fit or not. I do this using Zoho Bookings, but you can use other apps like Calendly. The next step is discovery call. Once the discovery call has been scheduled, the lead is converted to a contact and deal because now there is a clear sign that the potential customer is interested in working with me. We meet using Zoom or Google Meet to go over several aspects of the work and we determine if we are a good fit, hourly rates, time frame, and more. We also go over the work itself and what they would like to accomplish with my services. And finally, we discuss the next steps, like if they need to talk to someone else or if they're ready to sign the contract. At this point, I also get any other information I need, like phone number, billing address, and more. The next stage is negotiation. If the client has any doubts or needs to assess other things before moving forward with my services, I move the deal to the negotiation phase. This stage indicates that we have to iron out some things before creating a proposal. Sometimes this includes a second video call to talk more about the work is gonna be completed, also negotiate rates and make sure that we're all on the same page before we start working. Next, we have the proposal contract stage. After the discovery call or negotiation, and if the client would like to move forward, I send a proposal that they have to sign before we start working. This is normally created in a word processor and then uploaded as a PDF to Zoho Sign that allows me to send a document to collect electronic signatures. The contract includes a lot of details that were previously decided. Normally, clients sign the proposal right away, but if there are any other modifications that need to be done, we do it at this time in the sales process. Next step, sign. Once the contract has been signed, the deal is moved to the sign stage, which sends an automatic email that welcomes the new client and gives them some more information about the next steps. At this point, I review all the information I have about the client and set up a new project to track time, as well as a new client in the financial software I use. This is the first stage that considers the deal as one, so it uses the data for financial projections in the CRM, as well as other reports that you can generate. Also, at this point, I schedule a new video call that will be the first one where I'm billing the client, where we will go over the details of what they need, and sometimes even I do some work with them. The contract has been signed, so the deal is already won, but we have two more stages in the process. The first one is working and indicates that I'm currently working with that client. You have some options here. You can create a new pipeline where you have all the deals that you're currently working on, or just do all the working part in a project manager software. My sales process is very simple, so I have decided to keep it all in the same pipeline. The last stage of my sales process is closed one, meaning that I have completed all the work and my services are no longer needed. At this point, I send a thank you email that invites a client to review my service in a review platform I use. So that's my sales process. 
I hope you are enjoying the video so far and that you got a few ideas to implement in your sales process. If you find this valuable, please click the like button. It helps me a lot and I would really appreciate it. Now, let me go over the construction company sales process. It's gonna be quicker, so buckle up. First, we have lead qualification. The leads are qualified asking for a lot of information about the project. Then, appointment schedule. The lead becomes a deal and we schedule the appointment and send welcome emails and text messages. Then we have site visit. The sales rep does the site visit at this point, going over options, job type, materials, white choosing as, and a lot more. Also, some marketing emails are being sent. Next is contract sent. We move the deal to this stage once the contract has been sent and also we send some other emails about the contract itself and about our company. We follow up a few days later via phone call and email. Then we have contract sign. Once the contract is signed, we move the deal here so some workflows are triggered and some emails regarding the project are sent. Also, we generate a lot of tasks regarding the project like getting colors, creating a sales packet for operations and more. Next is project success call. This stage is part of the onboarding process, but it is still in our sales process. We schedule a call with the customer to go over a lot of details about the project and work to be performed. Next is the waiting list. Once the project success call is completed, we move the deal to the waiting list so operation can take care of the jobs in the order they came in. We also send emails introducing the client to operations. Then we have working. At this stage, we complete all the work, send invoices, get paid and more. Finally, we have close one. After we completed the work, registered the warranties and so on, we move it to close one, which is the final stage of the process. At this point, we send emails about our review programs, our referral programs, and also ask the client to complete a survey. This step also sends information to our accountant regarding sales commissions. All right, guys, that's it for today. I hope you got some good information from this video. I'm a software consultant, so if you're looking to set up a new CRM to administrate your sales process and you need some help, check out my website for more information. I will link it in the description right below the like button. I will also link some other videos you might find interesting, so please check them out. Thanks for watching.